What's good my boys, it's Million back with a cool tips and tricks video because you guys keep on asking me about it. So today I'm gonna show you how to become a good bedwars player or also known as tryhards or sweats. But before I start this guys, please leave a like and please subscribe to me, it will be much appreciated. Thank you guys. Okay now I'll be showing and teaching you guys how to become good at PvP. I know a lot of you guys want to learn how to combo because most of your enemies likes to combo your butt and this time I'll be explaining and teach you how to do those things. So number one on the list is height advantage. I know a lot of you guys already knows this but I still think that some of you guys are not. So height advantage is commonly used by tryhards to start the hit first which has a high chance that they can start the combo first against their enemy. Do you always wonder why players kept on building up and jumping down at you and hit you? That's exactly the reason why. Here's a good example of height advantage. So now that you know, I think it'll be better if you guys start applying these things on your PvP, yeah? Number 2, we got Aim Concentration. This is the most important thing that you guys need to learn or master in order to start combos. Well basically, Aim Concentration is um just aim at your enemy. Yes, you heard it right. So you guys see my cursor or mouse, that's what you're gonna need on it. If you want to win PvP against an enemy, you just have to focus and concentrate on your aim at your enemy. Sometimes, it'll be hard because sometimes most of your enemy will be going to your back, left, and right, which will make you hard to aim at them, right? That's why you need to practice or master your aim on sword too. Remember that your aim is not only for bow, it's also for sword. If you can land your aim perfectly on your enemy, I'm pretty sure you can start combos much better. Next we got is number 3. One tap method doesn't really work. I hate to say this but one tap method is just like a slow version of spam clicking PvP. You guys ever see someone combo doing the one tap method thing? They don't do that because they can combo. They do that because it looks much cleaner. That doesn't really make you look like you're skilled. So I highly suggest you guys do spam clicking. Spam clicking is where you just spam your click while you aim at your enemy. There's really no difference between the two. It's just one tap method is just like for people who have good pings and is in a good server region. Have you ever tried doing one tap method on a high ping server? I'm pretty sure if you do that, you'll die before you land those hits. So if you want to be good at PvP, don't look like a slow pig and just spam click your mouse. Last on the PvP section boys, number 4 which is ping. I know that a lot of you guys are experiencing lag on games. Your ping is 69,000? Your ping is more than 500 even though your internet is good. Well the main reason behind this thing is the server region this happens when you're playing on the server region that your place is not comfortable on playing on that server in other words your ping might be unstable which sometimes will be good sometimes will be bad and you guys know that having a bad ping will give you a higher chance of getting comboed first right that's true because the people are playing on that server is actually kinda like their hometown so they have the advantage they have better thing than you so example is if you play in the US server and you're from Asia you're most likely to experience having 200 ping and above sometimes 300 400 and more than that okay that's all for the PvP now let's head for some bonus tips and tricks that you guys can learn to become better at PvP at first, you must always bring blocks. Blocks is the most important thing to make you clutch the game. You can either use this for height advantage, running, parkour, and block clutching. 
I will show you guys a better way to build up faster. First thing that you have to do is build one in front of you, jump on it, and build straight up. You can use this thing whenever you're getting chased for jump attacks and even blocking enemies that are chasing you on a bridge. Second one is always look on size. No, I mean legs. No, I mean feet. Oh my gosh, bro. Well, what this means is this is how you can block clutch. If you're on third person mode, you just have to put your mouse on your feet in order to put a block on where you're standing at. This is good to use whenever you're doing block clutchings. Third is always build a block whenever you're jumping down because it is used to avoid and reduce fall damage. Fourth is you must remember that winning on PvP doesn't mean you're good at PvP. Remember that it's about how you think on a game. What this means is you need to think smart on a game after all. Like make some Tesla trap to kill your enemies, block suffocate them, make them fall to the board, and many things. Hope you guys learned a lot on this video. If you guys want to suggest and tell me what to make next like bed breakings, block techniques, and some others, let me know in the comments. I love you guys. Peace out.